On the surface, this is the most sensible thing in the world. If I have one ethernet jack, but two devices to plug in, why not use a splitter? Splitters are great. They work for everything from headphones to coax video to power, except that's not how ethernet works. Meaning that all of these devices on Amazon are big fat scams, or are they? While these ones don't work, and I'm gonna explain why in a moment, we actually managed to make our own splitters that do work. It's just a little bit more complicated than a traditional Y cable. I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. First, a closer look at the World G, oh boy, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, they mostly call it ethernet splitter in their marketing. So let's go with that. Looking at this thing, you could easily assume that you just plug this end into anywhere you want and it turns one ethernet port into two. But if we look at the product page, all of the different ways that you can use them pretty much boil down to the same thing. Splitting a single ethernet cable, say one that runs from your garage to your living room, into two separate physical connections on both ends. Which doesn't really sound like a scam at all. In fact, that sounds great. Come over here. Let's pretend that this side of the table is my garage. This basic switch is gonna represent our home internet router. Then this side is the living room where I sit on beanbag chairs and also wanna plug in my Nintendo Switch and my Xbox. Unfortunately, whoever built my house only ran a single ethernet cable between these two spaces. No matter, we'll simply put a splitter in each of the rooms, then plug in our devices. A voila! More like, wah, pfft. Neither of them has a connection, meaning that all we've managed to accomplish is turning our jack here into jack all. But hold on a second. What if we disconnect one of these from either end? And there it is. Huh, what the heck is going on here? We haven't even told you about our sponsor. AutoDS, want to manage an e-commerce business but worried about the costs of managing inventory? Don't know how to find the right products to sell? Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how AutoDS can help. You've probably encountered a headphone splitter before. These are made by simply wiring a single plug up to multiple jacks, allowing you and your friend to enjoy the same mixtape on the school bus. And this works because it's an analog signal. It's kind of like a river with the water being your music. Splitting that river into two or even more might reduce the amount of water or the volume, but it's still the same water. By contrast, a network connection is digital, which, okay, is still just electrical pulses on a wire, but it's different because the ones and the zeros are flowing bi-directionally as the connected devices communicate with each other. So back to our garage here, if my router sends out a data packet, it expects to receive confirmation that it arrived safely. So if I had two devices hooked up to that port, it wouldn't know what to do with it. With that said, the diagram on the product page for this isn't entirely unreasonable. There are enough conductors inside a modern ethernet cable to support more than one physical connection. So how would that work? Okay, we really are gonna get to it. But first, you might have heard these network cables referred to as Cat5 or maybe Cat6 cables. The exact label doesn't matter much for what we're talking about. What you need to know is that these Cat or category cables have eight individual wires inside them that are twisted together into four pairs. And here's the thing, older standards like 100 base TX, which runs at 100 megabit per second, only used two of those pairs. So if we don't need to run at gigabit or higher speeds, we've actually got enough pairs for two of those slower connections, which, well, wait a second then. This splitter should have worked. Okay, what's going on here? I must look ridiculous. Am I just completely covered in schmoo? Like is my face schmoo covered? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yes! There we go! Look at that. I even managed to mostly non-destructively do this. Oh, am I not done yet? Oh, crap. Wait for it. Yes! Yes! I got it. Holy crap! Every contact goes to both sides. It's wired just like a headphone splitter would be. Now we could have confirmed this with a multimeter, and in fact we did, but this was way more fun. So what you're looking at here is all the pin ones are wired together. 
as are all the pin twos, threes, and so on, all the way to pin eight. So you could try to use these things exactly like they show on the product page, and they are not going to work. Now, some of the brands marketing these things are more honest. This one we're looking at clarifies that it only works if one of your devices is powered on at a time, but that's pretty useless, especially considering that you can get a full on ethernet switch for $9 or a gigabit capable one for $16. Those will allow you to share that single jack with up to four devices all at the same time without bandwidth restrictions to each one. We're gonna have those linked down below. However, that doesn't mean that we're done with our janky splitters yet. I mean, if a real one could be made, then obviously a real one should be made. To hell with your ethics, Dr. Malcolm. 100 base T uses pins one and two to transmit and pins three and six to receive. So we wired up our A ends using just the orange and green pairs. I should note that we use the T568B color coding, so orange for transmit, green for receive. Then for the B end, we decided to use the blue pair as our transmit on pins one and two, and the brown pair as our receive on pins three and six. Then on the combined end, we just followed the T568B coding. As long as you're not mixing a transmit and a receive pin onto the same twisted pair, you should be okay. With that said, you do wanna pay special attention to the labeling on whatever keystones you use. You cannot assume that the connectors will be in numerical order. Now let's try it. All we gotta do is unplug this worthless adapter. See, just like before. I gotta say, this is the kind of thing that in a hundred years never would have occurred to me. Now, give it a second. Boop, boop, boop. I am now the proud owner of two rock solid 100 base T connections between my garage and my living room. A Linus. 100 megabit is so slow, you might say. And, well, yeah, but also no. I mean, if you wanna transfer big files back and forth between machines on a network, then maybe this isn't a good solution. You should definitely go buy a switch. I mean, $9, guys. But if you're just trying to get a couple of machines online with a reliable wired connection so you could watch exclusive behind the scenes content on floatplane.com slash LTT, ours at least does what it says on the tin. And with the average internet speed in the US being barely over hundred megabit, statistically speaking, you're probably not actually giving anything up. But before you run out and try this, there's a couple of other things to consider. And I mean, aside from the fact that a switch costs $9, uh, like PoE or power over ethernet. While this method should allow for mode A PoE to work as normal, mode B or four pair PoE will definitely not work and could cause some serious damage to your equipment if you try it. Of course, if you've got PoE equipment, you're probably not resorting to hacks like this, whether we're talking the potentially scammy commercial ones or our functional DIY versions. Functional, like this functional segue to our sponsor. AutoDS. AutoDS is a dropshipping platform that's dedicated to equipping you with the necessary tools to kickstart your own e-commerce business. The best part? You can sell products on various platforms like Shopify, Amazon, eBay, and more. You can get access to over five hours of free courses that will guide you through the starting process, explore the AutoDS marketplace, and choose from millions of trending products. The marketplace also allows you to filter and narrow down products so you can recommend items that truly resonate with your audience. If you're having trouble deciding on a product, AutoDS has you covered with their winning product feature. It provides hand-picked pre-vetted products along with advanced analytics, insights, and revenue projections. Once orders start rolling in, you can leverage the built-in automation features and let your business practically run itself. Start today and enjoy a free 30-day trial with AutoDS at the link down below. If you liked this video, you might wanna watch the one I did upgrading my home network to 10 gig, cause I guess you're into networking or something.